Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to show you how to upgrade your storage speeds on your gaming PC with Intel Optane memory. This is actually going to be a two-part video, the first part of which I'll be showing you how to use Intel's Optane memory acceleration system to improve the speeds of your standard Platter hard drives. And the second part, I'll be showing you how to use NVMe drives in a PCIe slot using an adapter. Now this is a great way to add extra M2 NVMe SSD drives to your PC if you've already used up all the slots on your motherboard, which I have done. And other people might be in the same position. I'm happy to report with a special adapter, it's really easy to do. Now there'll be links in the description below to everything you need, and I'll be talking you through how to install it. This, as I said, starting with is an Intel memory, Optane memory series uh, acceleration drive. Now this fits in the M2 drive on your motherboard and it basically helps speed up your standard platter hard disk drives by allowing some clever caching wizardry, which basically means that programs and things that you use commonly on that drive will be e easily accessed more quickly. Uh, the idea is to sort of replicate SSD speeds, but from a standard hard disk drive. Now, in my system, I have two six terabyte platter hard drives because I have a lot of videos that I um, do when making YouTube videos, and also I like to install as many games as I can possibly do. So it'll be nice to be able to speed up those drives and get a bit more speed out of them. Now, this is the second part I was showing you to demonstrate. This is the PCIe adapter. I'll go into more depth in a bit, but you can see that's another way you can install the M2 style drives on your machine. It's a really easy option as well. I'll cover that in a bit more depth in a minute. But this is basically a two-parter, and the end result will be the standard installation of an M2 drive and another M2 drive installed using the PCIe. It's worth noting these are different types of Intel memory. They're both called Intel Optane, I uh, don't get them confused. The bottom one is an SSD, that's 800p series, which is actually old, so this is just a demonstration purposes. I wouldn't recommend purchasing that. There are newer models that you can get currently. And then the top one is the accelerator, so they, these are very different things. As you'll note, the bottom is 118 gigabytes and the top is 32. So the accelerator speed is not designed for storage purposes. It is designed to help speed up your current storage. And this is how you go about installing it. You find the M2 slot on your motherboard. And if you've got a new motherboard, then you should have a couple of these. I've got one under the heat shield at the bottom of the motherboard and then one here in the middle. The joy of these drives is they install really easy. They slot in, they screw in, that's all you need to do. You don't need to worry about any power leads or other leads going into the motherboard. It's literally just plug and play. Then all you need to do is boot up your machine and map that network, map that drive, uh, and then you've got easy access to it. It's really, they're remarkably easy to install. Uh, it's just unfortunate that you can't install a great deal of them on the motherboards currently, but you don't need an excessive amount. You can get quite large sized NVMe drives now. In fact, I saw one yesterday, which was two terabytes, which is nuts, there's a lot of money, but if you wanted really fast storage and decent sizes, you can do it if you have the money. So this is what the Intel Optane Memory Accelerator Drive looks like when it's fully installed. As you see, that was really quick and easy to do. Simply screws in. You need to make sure you have that screw. Uh, it should be in your motherboard box, hopefully. It is an SSD standoff screw, basically, that just screws in. You make sure it's installed properly. You'll also be able to find these M2 drives with the markings on the motherboard. You can't quite see it here because it's under the GPU, but just below that drive it says that it's M2, and you can't really install it anywhere else anyway. You, you can't make a mistake with these things, so they're dead easy to fit in. Once you do that, you then need to install some software. I'll add some links in the description on how to do that, and talk through that in a bit more depth later on. Now this is the second part. This is, as I said, another Intel Optane drive, but not to be confused, this is an SSD, not the accelerator module. So be careful when you're purchasing because they for some reason have the same name. <laughs> you can note Intel Optane SSD 800p, I believe there's a 900p now available, but you can also buy NVMe drives from all sorts of other manufacturers, including Samsung and Corsair, for example. I have a Corsair one as installed as my boot drive, and that works very nicely for booting up. Now, this is the adapter that you need. This is an X4 PCIe 
SSD adapter from StarTech. I expect others are available, but this one was relatively cheap. I think I paid about £22 for it. So it's a nice little cheap thing. And it also has a nice set of instructions that are easy to follow. Although obviously I'm going to show you how to install it in the video. It's worth noting that it does have different sizes so you can install different size drives. It also has the screw included so it's easy to install the NVMe style drive on this adapter in the same way you did on the motherboard just a second ago. Very easy to do. Just remember the old anti-static wrist strap. Make sure you use that for any of these installations. You don't want to damage the parts before you even put them in the machine or worse destroy your machine entirely. So you can see this is the adapter itself. It's really clean actually, really clean looking, really simple. You can see the M2 slot there and then the screw holes. You'll note the current standoff is at the back there and that can be adjusted by unscrewing the back and pulling that bolt out and it tells you how to do that if your drive isn't quite the standard size. That is a standard size fitting though. And the instructions say to measure up before you try and install it on your machine. So the first thing to do is to make sure that your M2 drive is the right size and that it fits nicely. Fit it before you fit the PCIe adapter into your machine. You can see in the same way I installed it on the motherboard, it clips in really easily. And then it's simply a case of screwing it down. Now it is worth noting that I do believe that you could install the Intel Optane accelerator module in the same way using PCIe. Pretty sure it says that in the instructions uh, with the accelerator. So if you don't have an M2 slot on your motherboard, that is another option for doing this. And you could do both of these things this way. So you could increase your storage space or you could speed up your current platter hard drives. Now what you're looking for is a PCIe X4 slot. So that's that large one at the bottom there. Hopefully you've got a free one of those. And you can see the markings on the motherboard to tell you where to do it. Now you need to remove the thumb screw on the back to obviously make room for it, but you also make sure that it's the right size, just temporarily put it in there, line it up and get an idea that it will work. And then as I said, unscrew this thumb screw and then you can remove the back plate. Keep the thumb screw within reach because you'll need to reinstall that. And then it's simply a case of plug and play again. It slots in really easily. I make it look more hassle than it actually is. But it slots in surprisingly easily and comfortably. And again, you don't need any extra power. You don't need any extra cables. It's plugged straight into the motherboard and it just works. As I said earlier, with this you can just plug and play and then map that drive when you get on to booting up your machine and making sure everything's running smoothly. And I'll add some notes in the description and a link to a video to show you how to do that. Someone else has already done a video on how to map do drives if you're not sure how to do that. And there's no point in me going into depth on someone else has already done an expert video on it. And you can see this is the final view of what it looks like. So now I have two NVMe M2 drives installed on this motherboard and the Intel Optane Memory Accelerator and two 6 terabyte standard platter hard drives. It's worth noting that the accelerator will only work with one platter hard drive and I'm not sure if you could combine two to cover two different hard drives or not. That'd be interesting to see but you have to download the software and then you assign your Optane Memory Accelerator to the relevant hard drive that you want to speed up. It then requires a few restarts and once you've done that you then get to enjoy the full-on joy of having that extra speed Obviously it's not as fast as NVMe drives as standard, but it does improve the speed of your platter hard drives. Hope you found this video useful. Please like, subscribe, and come back for more in the future. This is